Hey folks, welcome back to Calvin's Got Game. I am way behind on some videos. I got sick in end of September, most of October. Uh, so I uh, didn't get as many games played as I wanted to. But what I want to do is tell you about my top 10 most played games in October. I'm going to go back and do my September one here in a little while. And I got a few other videos I'd like to get out. But first of all, let's get started with this list. The 10 most, uh, top 10 games I've played most in October are, starting with my number 10, is Redneck Life. Guys, if you like the game of life, you will enjoy this game. Um, this game is all about not losing your teeth. So whoever has the most teeth and the, the least amount of debt, which is, you know, buying your teeth back and all that, you win the game by having the most teeth. This game is for two to four players. Um, it plays about 60 to 90 minutes. It's probably close to that uh, 90 minutes if four players are playing. Uh, it's by Gut Busting Games. Guys, Redneck Life, a lot of fun. If you enjoy the reg regular life, you'll enjoy this Redneck Life. It's a great family game. Now, my number nine is <clears throat> New York Slice. You hear all that clanking around in there. It's got a lot of pizza slices. I'll show you the back of the box. It's got a lot of pizza, pizza slices. You're going to have per, one person that slices the pizza, one, and then the next person next to them chooses, and it goes around the board. You're the last one to get it if you're the slicer. So you want to kind of slice it to where it's to your advantage, but not too enticing for others to take what you want. Uh, this game is for two to six players. takes about 30 minutes. Um, it's by Bezier Games. Bezier Games, I don't know how to say that. But anyway... If you guys think you might like this game, I'm actually giving this uh, game of this away, brand new in the shrink, uh, for Thanksgiving. So if you go check out my Thanksgiving giveaway video, I'll put it in the link below this uh, video. And if you'll just follow the description in the video of how to enter, you'll have a chance to win New York Slice. Fun family game. <clears throat> now, my number eight, I don't have, I don't own, I actually got to play this in my friendly local game store, Three Sons Unlimited. Um, it's called London Dread. London Dread is your programming this clock to make moves to find out these events. It's I don't think we played it properly the first time, but I watched a couple videos on on how to play it, and some folks have done a great job on it. And so uh, we read the rules, and the rules were pretty good. We were trying to do it quickly because uh, it was our game night, so we were trying to get into the game. But London Dread was my number eight. Really, really enjoyed this game, and I want to get it back to the table a lot more. The first couple of times we played it, I don't think we played it right, but we'll get back at it. So, uh, there'll be a picture of it here, here. So, uh, London Dread, my number eight. My number seven is <clears throat> one of those halloween theme games for October. Can't do October without a halloween theme game. Eldritch Horror. Eldritch Horror is by Fantasy Flight. It's for two, one to six players. One to six players. Takes about an hour to play, two hours maybe. Um, this game is just fantastic. I enjoy it so much. Eldritch Horror by Fantasy Flight. One of my favorite horror games. If you've watched the top ten horror games of October, this was in there. Uh, I think it was my number two. What a great game. Eldritch Horror. If you hadn't played it, go check it out. <clears throat> that is my number seven for most played games of October. My number six, yet another horror theme game, Dark Gothic. Dark Gothic is a two to six players. A lot of these games uh, play uh, quite a bit uh, of players. It takes about 60 minutes to play. Depends on how the cards fall. This one is just a, de a big deck of cards, and you're trying to... It's a deck builder, so if you enjoy deck builders, it's by Flying Frog Productions. Guys, I really enjoy deck builders. I have DC deck building in them. Uh, they're kind of over there somewhere, but I have DC deck building, and I have uh, a couple of others, but <coughs> this horror theme game is really good. I still have a little bit of that cough, guys. I apologize. A Touch of Evil, Dark Gothic, Flying Frog Productions... Great game. Check it out. That's my number six on the top ten. For October, my number five. We're going to get into a lot of smaller games now because I got to play them a lot more. Truck Off. Truck Off, the food truck frenzy game. 
This little game I didn't think was going to be a whole lot, but wow, is it a lot of fun. And you can tick some folks off. Uh, they feel like they're getting ganged up on when you shut down the location that they're at and their truck. So uh, it's by, oh, Adam's Apple Games. Adam's Apple Games. It's for two to six players. Plays in about 30 minutes. Truck Off is a good family game. It's got a lot of take that in it. You can kind of mitigate that by taking out some of the cards uh, because you get to discard two cards of the hand of cards and everybody has the same hand of cards. So everybody's going to discard the same two cards. So you can kind of make it not so take that if you want. But I really enjoyed this game. It's a programming selection game. Once everybody has their selection of what venue they want to go to, they move to it. I'll do a review on it at some point. Truck off. Great family game. That was my number five. My number four for the top most played games <clears throat> of October is none other than Skip Bow. I play Skip Bow a lot with my family. It's a game where we can chat, talk, and just have a lot of fun and laugh. Um, just telling stories about you know things. We, we play this a lot when my mom comes over and my brother, and we have a good time playing it. Skip Bow, great game. This one's by, I believe, Mattel, and I think it plays two to six, um, but it's just a it's just a fun card shedding game. If you, you never played Skip Bow, give it a shot. I enjoy it, it's simple, it's fun, um, and it's aggravating sometimes when you can't get your cards played and somebody's playing a bunch of Skip Bows and you feel like they've got them all. But anyway, what a, what a great game. Skip Bow, it is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> my number three for the top 10 most played game is Don't Fall in the Mead Hall. Now, this is a game by, yes, I can't ever think of their names. I might put on my glasses here so I can read it. Sorry about that, folks. Don't Fall in the Mead Hall is by Viking Nerds. Viking Nerds. It's for two to four players and it takes about 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, depends on uh, how fast you roll the dice, how everybody's playing. It doesn't take that long. But what you're trying to do is you've got a group of people around the table. You're serving drinks to other table, not real drinks. Um, you can play this without any drinking, uh, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, for those of you that like to do that, you could do it with that. But it, it's a game where um, you're just trying to knock everybody else's uh, around the table. Either gets knocked out by getting punched out, a chair thrown at them, or they pass out. Uh, the last one standing wins the game. Don't fall in the meat hall. Viking nerds, uh, two to four players, 10 to 20 minutes to play. That is my number three most played game of October. <clears throat> my number two is Blank, Mary, Kill. I'm going to do a review on this probably really soon. Um, I didn't think I want to pick this game up. This game is by uh, Skybound Games and Jack Dyer Studios. Um, I guess it can play as many as you really want. I don't, uh, it says three to ten, three to ten players. But I mean, you know, you could play more if you wanted to, or teams, or however you want to do that. But Blank Mary Kill, um, I almost didn't pick this game up because I'm not a big fan of those innuendo games where you know you do all this stuff but Blake Mary Kill uh, a cute game we laugh a lot on this one and uh, uh, I even taught my 79 year old mom how to play it, and she had a ball so guys um, she laughs at, at a lot of the stuff there's some attribute cards that you put on I think the people that make this made uh, super fight and super fight if you've ever played that it's kind of about attributes you know uh, President Clinton can shoot lasers out of his eyes and he'll take out, not in this game, but in Super Fight. So, a lot of different attributes. Kind of funny. I'm going to do a review on it soon. So, Blank, Mary Kill, my number two most played game of October. Now, my number one, very small game, and it's only a single player. It's called The Abandons. The Abandons, um, it's a game where you're trying to lay out tiles and escape this cavern. It's for one player. It takes about 5 to 15 minutes. And it is by... Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I don't know who this is by. Uh, uh, I put on my glasses again, guys. Sorry. Uh, 
Since Puzzling Pixel Games, um, Puzzling Pixel Games makes this. So anyway, the abandons. You're trying to escape these these caverns or whatever it is, this castle, and so you're laying down cards, and depending on the cards you lay down is how many cards you might can draw the next time. So you get to shed some cards off this pile. You're trying to get through this pile of cards without getting blocked off where you can't get out. For a single-player game, taking 5 to 15 minutes, uh, it's, it's really just, I didn't think there'd be much to it, but... I've enjoyed playing it. It's my number one uh, play game of October. So, guys, if you are a board gamer and you love board games, um, I hope you're enjoying this channel. But most of all, I want you to get a board game to the table. Spend time with friends and family because that's what we're trying to do here is bring people together. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching Calvin's Guide Games.